Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about basic roof components. The idea of this video is for you to learn what elements are needed and to have a visual understanding of each element. First, we're going to be talking about the asphalt shingle itself. Um, it is the most common roofing product available. It is the most cost efficient, also comes in different profiles and uh, also for different weather conditions. Let's say that your house is in a very high wind area. Um, there's shingles for that, just specifically uh, for wind um, uh, problematic areas. Also, if your area is susceptible to hailstorms, there, there's also a shingle that um, is hail resistant. So they're also easier to locate uh, leaks and deficiencies. Um, they last roughly between 20 and 25 years, uh, just depending on uh, the type of roof ventilation, where the house is located and, and stuff like that. Um, also, the cost is a third of a cedar or rubber, or rubber roofing system. Um, also, they come in um, a lot of colors, so it, it can blend pretty good to any um, color scheme of a home. Now, the asphalt starters and ridge caps, these are complementary parts of a properly installed um, roofing system. Starters serve as a force course of shingle, helps the first shingle not blow off by the wind. Uh, you see the image on the right hand side, that is the starter, and you see those little tar um, little lines, those help the first shingle adhere properly and that way it doesn't blow off. Um, the ridge caps serve as a finish uh, type uh, on the top. Um, of the slopes for a uh, smooth transition. It looks good and keeps the water out. There's also high profile uh, ridge caps, which make the house have a little bit of more depth in the uh, roofing system. You'll be able to see the, the lines of the hips and the ridges pretty, pretty easily. And it's just for looks. It does look better. It's just a little bit more expensive. Then we have the underlay. The underlay is one of the key components of a properly installed roofing shingle. It is a secondary protective layer of, a, uh, of the underlay. Um, we always use um, underlay, uh, synthetic underlay because it has the following benefits. It is 12 times stronger as a traditional petroleum-based um, underlay. It is inert to mold growth. It does not absorb water or wrinkle. It is UV protect uh, resistant and it is slip resistant. So, um, you know, before they used to use petroleum based ones, which um, they would absorb water. Um, they would tear easy, easier uh, than the traditional, than the now synthetic ones that are typically used. So if somebody is going to do um, your roof, just make sure it's a synthetic underlay and that they do install the underlay. Not everybody does it and it's just a good roofing practice. Next is the, um, the roof vents. There's two fundamental benefits of an, effect, of an effective roofing ventilation system. The first one is a cooler attic in the summer, which will help the shingles last longer just because they don't overheat. And um, the other um, fundamental benefit is a um, dry attic in winter. This helps avoid uh, attic condensation. If you don't know what attic condensation is, we uh, created another video talking about this uh, common issue that we have here in Calgary um, just due to our uh, Chinooks, uh, freeze thaws and, and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, attic condensation is moisture gathering in your attic space when it's super cold outside and it's warm in your house, moisture collects in your attic, it freezes, and then if you don't have proper ventilation, uh, proper insulation, um, that that uh, moisture will start to melt during thaw cycles and it will appear that you have roof leaks uh, and they'll appear on the ceiling, around the, the washroom fans and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, these two benefits of um, having the, the cooler attic and the dry attic um, both result in um, energy savings, uh, greater home, um, greater uh, homeowner comfort and higher integrity of the house. Now um, we're going to be talking about the pipe jack. 
the pipe jack is a preformed uh, flange that is placed um, around the plumbing stack. So that black PVC that you see on the image is actually part of the plumbing system and it is meant to be open that way. And the pipe jack is just the flashing that uh, helps um, the pipe uh, transition from the inside of the house to the exterior. Um, and you know, they can't, they come like that, just pre-made, they come to size, there's different sizes and uh, basically they all come in, in plastic, um, for, for asphalt shingles and stuff. So next we have the gooseneck. The gooseneck is a, is basically a venting, another roof vent that, um, is used to, um, transition from the, from the flex pipes that go from a washroom fan or a kitchen fan or another could be uh, from a dryer it also helps for attic venting um, so basically you know you tie in the uh, flex pipes from those uh, fans into um, on the bottom of the roof deck and um, this is where they come it comes out and they have two presentations one in metal and the other one in plastic and that's their basic uh function now the metal valley well the valley on the roof is one of the most vulnerable areas of your roofing um, system if it's not properly protected uh, a valley can channel water directly into your house causing interior damage um, installing a sheet metal as in the image uh, will help add extra protection to this critical area of your roofing system and will ensure that um, you know you have uh, no issues in the valley also it helps um, the shingles not deteriorate in this area since the water collects from the two slopes into that uh, valley um, the shingles tend to deteriorate faster in that area and it's also a critical part of your roof so you got to make sure that you you are extra protected in that in that area now the the drip edge the drip edge as seen in the image is is um it's a metal strip that goes um just below the on the roof line just below the shingles and it helps it it helps the water get into the gutter easier it also helps uh, prevent the 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 roof deck uh, just under the shingle to deteriorate or to curl over time because it does get wet if you don't have that um, uh, drip edge installed. Um, finally, we have the ice and water protection. The ice and water protection is a self-adhesive, resilient, non-woven glass fiber mat, which serves to waterproof under the shingles, preventing water. Uh, penetration due to ice dams and um, driven um, wind driven rain it also um, is used to protect critical areas such as skylights chimneys and uh, valleys so this is a pretty sticky uh, product and uh, it is in also it's used if you have a very low pitch roof so it's uh, the slope of the roof is very minimum uh, we recommend installing it on the whole house that way um, if you have any uh, ice damming or any any anything like that you make sure that that your whole roof is protected and also it's recommended by the manufacturer to install it on the entire roof to get that warranty um, that they uh, provide so hopefully you found this video useful you know we just want to um we, we just want you to have an idea of what a roofing system entitles we just kind of went over everything a little bit quick just so uh, the video is not too long and you have a, a good understanding of of um of every element so hopefully you found this useful if you have any questions you can always reach us at 403-903-6527 thank you